بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Your Excellency Prime Minister Muhammad Nawaz Sharif and members of the media Mr. Prime Minister the people of Maldives are greatly honored by your presence here with us today and are indeed privileged that you have found time out of your very busy schedule to accept our invitation to grace our 52nd Independence Day celebrations. Your presence here today is a true reflection of the long-standing strong bonds of friendship and understanding that our two countries continue to enjoy. Prime Minister Sharif and I just finished our official talks covering a multitude of areas including bilateral, regional and international issues of mutual interest to both our countries. During our discussions, as two peace-loving Islamic nations, we agreed to increase our collaborative efforts to strengthen the solidarity of Muslim Ummah and promote the true values of Islam, Islam internationally. We concluded some very important and key agreements aimed at enhancing our relations further. Six MOUs covering areas such as capacity building in foreign service, tourism, climate change, trade, education, and civil service cooperation were signed to reinforce the close cooperation we have on these areas. We also decided to set up joint working committees to oversee the swift implementation of the MOUs we signed. In the areas of economic development, I thank Prime Minister Sharif for valuable contributions made by Pakistan in the socio-economic development of the Maldives over the years and expressed our wish to see investors from Pakistan to seize the available opportunities in Maldives. We agreed to form the Maldives-Pakistan Joint Business Council and Joint Working Group on Trade as the mechanisms that will promote business, trade and investment cooperation, enhance collaboration between private sector operators as well as strengthen institutional relations. Prime Minister and I agreed to cooperate more closely in the area of travel and tourism. I'm confident that the MOU we have signed today in this regard will help restart direct air links and improve connectivity between our two countries. Since youth development is a key priority area of my government, we agree to collaborate closely in empowering our youth. I'm confident that youth exchange programs that we agree today would benefit our youth immensely and help cement our relations even further. Pakistan has made important contributions to development of Maldives in the area of education and human resource development efforts. I thank Prime Minister for the kind and generous offer of five additional scholarships in the field of medicine, engineering, pharmacy and dentistry for Maldivian students in Pakistani educational institutions. And also, I express my appreciation for Pakistanis' readiness to start a medical school and medical college here in Maldives. I also express our appreciation for the continued assistance from Pakistan in strengthening the operational capabilities of Maldivian National Defense Force. Prime Minister and I discussed issues relating to terrorism, violent extremism and radicalization, and we unequivocally agreed to redouble our joint efforts to combat the menace of terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Maldives and Pakistan have been collaborating closely in the multilateral sphere. Pakistan has been a reliable, time-tested and a staunch supporter of the Maldives. Prime Minister and I discussed key international issues of mutual concern and decided to cooperate more closely at the United Nations. We extend views on critical issues of climate change and sustainable development and agreed to work closely to implement the com commitments we have undertaken in Paris in 2015. I assure the Prime Minister of our firm commitment and resolve to exert our leadership on these issues as a chair of Alliance of Small Island States, AOSIS. Prime Minister and I also had a frank and candid discussion on pressing issues facing our region today. I expressed the firm commitment of the Maldives to work together with all regional and international players to achieve peace, stability and continued progress and prosperity in South Asia and the Indian Ocean region as a whole. I reiterated our resolve to remain steadfast in our joint efforts to cooperate on regional issues and underscored the importance of holding SARC summit in Pakistan as soon as possible. Mr. Prime Minister, 
Our talks today signify the commitment of the two countries to further enhance and consolidate our traditional brotherly relations. I thank Your Excellency once again for undertaking this visit to the Maldives and gracing our 52nd Independence Day celebrations. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Bismillah rahman rahim Excellency President Abdullah Yameen, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a matter of great happiness for me to share the celebrations of the 52nd Independence Day of Maldives. It is a measure of the warmth and cordiality between Pakistan and Maldives that President Abdullah Yameen has accorded me the honor of being the chief guest on this happy occasion. I am deeply touched by this gesture of friendship. Let me offer our sincere congratulations to the people and leadership of the Maldives as they mark the 52nd year of independence. I wish and pray for the Maldives to have a future full of peace, happiness and prosperity. <clears throat> During this visit, I and President Abdullah Yameen have had an opportunity to exchange views and ideas to further expand and strengthen our bilateral relations across all areas of mutual interest, including trade, education, tourism, defense, and people-to-people -people contexts. We have a complete meeting of minds on the need to overcome common challenges. We also agreed to work together to make SARC a vibrant organization and a vehicle to realize our shared dreams for a peaceful and prosperous region. The last Islamabad SARC summit was not the first time that India caused harm to SARC by seeking postponement of the summit. India has done so on four occasions and uh, it undermined and violated the spirit of SARC charter by casting shadows of bilateral issues and problems on a multilateral forum for regional cooperation. We, however, remain grateful for President Abdullah Yamin's support regarding the SARC summit in Islamabad. In our discussions today, I also highlighted the ongoing brutal repression and gross human rights violations by the Indian forces in the occupied Jammu and Kashmir. President Abdullah Yamin has shared with me his vision of promoting cooperation and friendly relations between the Maldives and other countries. Pakistan stands ready to support his efforts. During my visit, we have signed a number of uh, memorandum of understanding for enhancing bilateral cooperation in the fields of tourism, trade, education, capacity building of civil servants, and training for diplomats. Pakistan Maldives Joint Business Council and Joint Working Group have been established. These will serve as platforms for enhanced trade and investment cooperation by facilitating collaboration between businesses and institutions. In order to sustainably build on the progress already achieved in our bilateral relations, we have constituted four joint working committees. These committees will oversee the implementation of the MOUs signed between our two countries, including those concluded during President Abdullah Yamin's visit to Pakistan in 2015. These MOUs relate to sports, health, education, and combating illicit drugs. I am happy to announce that the, uh, for the people of the Maldives, for the establishment of a medical college <coughs> Pakistan will provide all resources to this end. Further from this year on, we will also provide additional slots for Maldivian students to study medicine, engineering, pharmacy, and dentistry in Pakistan. I have personally experienced same feelings of warmth, friendliness, and mutual respect that the people of Pakistan have for the brotherly people of the Maldives. I am confident that these bonds of goodwill 
and amity will endure and continue to manifest themselves in ever closer cooperation between the two countries, not only bilaterally, but at all the relevant international fora as well. I would like to congratulate the Maldives once again on its 52nd Independence Day. And thank you, Mr. President, for your wonderful hospitality accorded to me and the members of my entourage. Thank you.